And Slater will be chasing another 10 point right out there this morning in huge conditions. He's up against Ezekiel Lau and the man on screen at the moment, Ryan Callanan, who is desperate to resuscitate his CT run and try and just maintain a place on the tour for the second time this season. But obviously a lot of surfing to be done and some big statements laid down by his challenges in this heat in the opening moments of the clash. Well, you know, on paper, you know that these three guys are going to handle the conditions well. Ryan Callan on his back end, we saw last year, he had some great moments out here. He's picked the ball up where he left off. That backhand is unbelievable. He's got the motivation. He's coming from way back. Broken wrist, had surgery, and has been fighting hard to climb the ladder. Ezekiel, now that big frontside jam right under the lip. Strong, big opening manoeuvres from uh, Zeke Lau and Ryan Callanan in this heat. Yet to see Kelly Slater take off. And another surfer, Zeke Lau. He's going to handle it super well out here, Ronnie. Oh, I love that turn. You can see every surfer just has that same mindset. You get that turn done in that final section, get low, get the completion. Yeah, look at that. What a great snap, layback snap there by Zeke Lau. So there's two huge manoeuvres to start this heat with. Just one-off manoeuvres, but they have been rewarded. They sure have. 6.33 for Zeke Lau. As we cut back to live action and see Callanan looking to uh, back up that opening ride. Just draws out a, a bit of a top turn there. Not much doing so far, but can make up the points on this end section. Hits it and hangs on for the finish. Not a lot in it as he brings it through to the inside, but still an important ride. You want to back up those big numbers early. He was amazing. And that was uh, awesome to hear him chat so candidly. And here goes the 11-time world champion. Lining up this end section. He's going to opt out of this one. You know, Ronnie, uh, I came down late yesterday afternoon to check the conditions to see if this swell had uh, arrived yet. It, it had not, and, and but Kelly cut it short to come back for a late surf. Uh, that's how intent he is to do well here at Margaret River this year. As we see Zeke there, oh, awkward fall over the falls, uh, laying on his equipment there. I think in any other heat, you, you, they'd go in his favours, but they're against each other. They can, these three can handle big stuff. Ryan love those big bottom turns. Sizes up the first section and hits it nicely. This wave not as big. It's allowing a bit more freedom on the rail. And Ryan finishes off that one off nicely. Should get rid of that 3.5. Leading this heat at the moment. The requirement's going to grow for his rivals here. Zeke Lau was after a 3.85. He'll need a bit more. But Slater's getting a little left behind here at the moment with just over 22 and a half minutes to go. Yeah, and there's that boil uh, that Kaipo spoke of, and it is a massive boil. It's one of the biggest ones you'll ever see in world surfing. And uh, that's when... That was the trigger for Ryan Callan to get his second wave, and it is a 6.7, his second scoring ride, that is. And uh, this is a pretty handy ride to get, Ronnie. That finish, that much more critical, that first turn. Yes, yeah, Slater taking off. And, uh, wow, that one just clipping him on the head. He, he's got the control, though, to, to maintain composure and maybe finish this one off on the inside. Just rips into a calf there. Incomplete, though. So he'll head back to the takeoff. But, but Kelly's one guy who always finds his landmark. You're probably equipped to go out there and get that big bombing wave and, and you'd use the equipment well to get it. It has completely changed. It's, and this guy here, I believe, really revolutionised it, Ronnie, because he he was the first to ride small waves in small boards in big waves. He was definitely, and still is, someone who is always breaking ground. Slater looking to finish this one off on the inside. That's better from the 11-time world champ. That'll be his best yet. His partner Kalani watching on as Kelly just gets rolled across the rocks there. And uh, look, no one's really coming close at the moment. Medina with 16 victories. He's the second most winning surfer on the CT at the moment. As Zeke throws everything at the end section. Well, it was hard to tell if he was still on his feet there as he rode through the foam or he was just being thrown around. 
at the mercy of the ocean. Gosh, that was a, a, an example of those those surging whitewaters coming together about point scoring opportunities, not just big waves and bravado. Ryan Callan and up again, now trying to get rid of a 6.67. Just seems to have a really solid read off the bottom at the moment. Bugs, he's really taking his time and drawing out those bottom turns beautifully. Yeah, and it's one of those decisions now that, you know, the surfers are, are into because, well, here we see Kelly first, and he Whoa. has pulled in. Slater ducking in. Uh, again, just so crafty. Just, just being able to find some cover out there at the moment is impressive. He didn't find the exit on that occasion, but if he did, he was on his way to a solid score. But right now, out in the lineup, live action Slater taking a late drop. Again, almost getting clamped, but stays on his feet. He got himself back in the heat with a 4.5 on a previous ride. Now after a 4.91 out of this one, as he rolls through to the inside, hits the end section and hangs on. Just. Yeah, I think he, I think he might get the points for riding out of that. I mean, uh, it's going to be tough, but 4.91 is what he's after. Let's have another look at it here. Well, you know, I mean, he handles that lip so well. I mean, I don't know if you get any points for doing that, but. Gosh, there was a lot of lip coming down on him. And this wave here really fattens up. It's really just this turn here that's the money turn. And he definitely, he surfs out of it. Kind of pulled, pulled that out of my head and stayed positive and got an eight. And I was like, all right, we're back on here. And backed it up with a four. I mean, I saw the first heat. They were only really getting 10 points. So I'd have an eight and a four. I was like, this is a heat win. So, yeah, I was stoked. Amazing work. Thanks for the insight, Jacko. And that also depends on what results those surfers in the middle of the, the pack are able to achieve here at Margaret's. So a lot on the line as we see Zeke. Taking off once again. Beautiful big drawn out carve and a monster finish. This is going to be a big score and he knows it. Oh wow, what a great ride and he just hung on by his toenails. That was just pure commitment. And the thing that I love about main break is there's not too many venues on the schedule that, that with waves this size are going to offer you a section to do a carve that spans 25 feet. So this is a fabulous ride to bring out his second scoring ride. This will go to his top scoring ride. He carves down the face here. It's this move here, Ronnie. That is a, such a difficult maneuver in, the, in, in these circumstances. He gets up and over the lip line. It's an incredible finish. The way he carves down the face here, you know he carves and fades, comes around that bowling section, and his timing is just exquisite out of the lip, and he handles the bounce. It was the big finish where the big points are going to come. My knees hurt just watching it, Bugs. 8.67, and he moves into the lead. Callan and now in second spot, and Slater's going to run out of time here. And he needed a big score anyway just to get into second position. But Kelly will have to rebound in the elimination round. But what a performance from this man. He needs a big result.